in the shop, if you talk about the 100% inheritance tax having no incentive effects, it would destroy a continuing society. It would destroy a society well, you're saying in which there are links from one generation to the next. You were okay, uh, Mr. Friedman, referring to the statements that you made about women who advocate equal pay for equal work. Gee, I thought I'd get a rise out of that sooner or later. <laughs> Delighted to have it. Um, Yes, okay, I just would like to know if you're insinuating or perhaps, you know, point blankly saying that um, women and other minorities' skills are inferior to those of those now holding those jobs and that they need to go through a period where their skills need to be improved and therefore deserve to be paid less? No, I don't think dessert has anything to do with it. I'm not, for, first of all, I think dessert is an impossible thing to decide. Who deserves what? Nobody deserves anything. Thank God we don't get what we deserve. <laughs> but, but I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying a very different thing. I'm saying that the actual effect of requiring equal pay for equal work will be to harm women. If women's skills are higher than men's in a particular job and are recognized to be higher, the law does no good. Because then they will be able to compete away and can get the same income. If their skills are less for whatever reason, maybe it isn't because they're se it's their sex, maybe it's because they were out of the labor force, maybe it's for other reasons. And you say the only way you, can, you are able to hire them is by paying the same wage, then you're denying them the only weapon they have to fight with. If the unwillingness of the men to hire them is because the men are sexist, uh, are, 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 what's the phrase, racist, uh, sexist pigs or whatever, <laughs> if that's the only reason they want to hire them, nonetheless, you want to make it costly to them to exercise their prejudice. If you say to them, hmm, you have to pay the same wage no matter whether you pay higher women or men, then here's Mr. Sexist Pig. It doesn't cost him anything to hire men instead of women. However, if the women are free to compete and to say, well, now look, I'll offer my work for less, then he can only hire men if he bears a cost. If the women are really good as a man, as good as a man, then he's paying a price for discriminating. And what you are doing, not intentionally, but by misunderstanding, when you try to get equal pay for equal work laws, is what you are doing is reducing to zero the cost imposed on people who are, who are discriminating for irrelevant reasons. And I would like to see a cost imposed on them. I'm on your side, but you're not. <laughs> Thank you.